going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're over time to subscribe as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i did a story uh yesterday as a matter of fact something that happened over the weekend out there in memphis shout out memphis and uh it's about this guy right here this guy right here is 24 year old tevin rose this guy killed his mother Set her body on fire, tried to hide it behind the house. Same house he lives with, with his mom. And this guy suffers from some type of uh, mental illness. But uh, it's no excuse for the evil that he did. Today, he appeared in court and uh, acted a fool. I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, video and we'll come back and talk about it of domestic violence can exist among family members like a parent and a child. As we told you yesterday, a Memphis man was booked and charged with murdering his own mother, who's now been identified as Rochelle Hill, before allegedly trying to get rid of her remains in a wooded area. This morning, Tavon Rose was in court for the first time. WRG Sarita Patterson was there when the defendant delivered his profane response to the charges. The Memphis man seen smiling in his mugshot after he was charged with murdering his own mother had different facial expressions during his arraignment Tuesday. At times, Tavon Rose was either shaking his head or rolling his eyes. As the judge read aloud the three felonies and one misdemeanor, the 24-year-old will have to answer to murder, tampering with evidence, Resisting arrest and abuse of a corpse are the charges he's facing. Rose with a strong reaction to the last offense, responding with profanity. The judge telling Rose this could be a capital case, meaning he could be sentenced to death if he's found guilty. Rose learned he was being held with no bond and would be appointed a public defender. This led to more profanity. What? Rose, who was escorted into court solo without other inmates nearby, was closely watched by two deputies. The seriousness of what he's accused of had neighbors watching the day before as an investigation at the Pepper Mill Lane home he shared with his mother stretched on for hours. Sadly, his mother's body was discovered in a wooded area behind a fence in the home's backyard. Detectives collected evidence while the victim's body was removed. Neighbors who looked Looked on were in total shock. Sad. It's sad. Back here in court, Rose with a final facial expression before he was finally escorted out. Rose, who responded to the judge with quite a few expletives, was in and out in a matter of moments. Bond has been denied. He is set to appear back in court Wednesday. We'll keep you updated. Reporting for your news leader inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. That's the story of this piece of shit. Tevin Rose, 24-year-old maniac that kept his mother in suspended terror. If you've been keeping up with me and I did the story last, uh, yesterday, neighbors was talking about how the woman was telling about how she was in suspended terror with this guy in the house. Said at one point, he, uh, she had to barricade herself. His own mother had to barricade herself in a room in fear of being harmed by this man who lives with her at 24 years old. Crazy as not, you show me your ass or give me your ass to kiss, you out in the street. And it's going to be what it's going to be. Because now you're threatening me and all this other stuff. He should have been out of there. But it's for some odd reason, sometimes parents don't let their kids go because they either feel sorry for them because of their condition and stuff. And it costs them their life. This is wildness. He in court laughing at some point, making all these different faces. He cussing, getting mad because they said abuse of courts. You threw your mother over the back gate. And tried to burn her up out in the back and hide her. You went at the house. Want to live her life. You understand what I'm saying? Unacceptable. Just because you got a kid. And you know, he, he's a man. He's still a man. Men dominate. They try to take stuff over. He probably bigger than his mom. Knew he could overpower. Got a sense of how her uh, situation is. Or how she handles him. And then he just turned up on her. And it wound up. Uh, costing her life, which is a shame. That's a nice looking house. Too bad he went to kill his mom so he could be the only one living in it. Don't think past his nose. How you gonna pay the bills? How you gonna do all this other stuff? People gonna come ask questions. How you gonna do? Somebody walked over there and found her. Welfare check, a family member. He in the house looking stupid. Talking about he got a resistant arrest. 
Now you in court with a public defender. That's a death sentence. You finished. People that do these crazy type of crimes, if they feel an incessant need to do this type of stuff, at least make sure you got enough money to get you a good lawyer. This guy's an idiot. And what he did was disrespectful. When I was younger, man, you know, and like a lot of you guys, we had ultimatums. Hey, college, uh, military, something. But you're going to get out this house between 18 and 21 years old. Nowadays ain't even like that no more. Whether he's sick or not, this motherfucker was a danger. And it proved fatal. Heartbreaking, man. You threw your mom over the gate and just left her back there for her to stink and get eaten by animals. Or have somebody walk and find her. Then you getting in court and laughing and shit. Why does the justice system even uh, pay with the, play with this stuff? He admitted that he did it. Take him out. Take him right to the gallows right now. End it. Taxpayer dollars feeding this piece of shit. Probably offer him a deal. What's, tell me, oh, it might be a capital murder case. You might die. Why ain't it a capital murder case? He killed his mom. For nothing. Why ain't it a capital murder case? It's always these different things with, that stop people from getting the real justice that they should deserve. Complete darkness. He need to see the flowers. He do. What he did was outright disrespectful and like snakish. That woman let you live in that house, I guarantee you, your motherfucking ass ain't paying no bills because she wasn't working. Wasn't working. And you take her out of here. That wasn't enough for you. You know, sometimes you have family members that are older, and I don't know how old this woman was. He's 24. I don't know how old she was. But a lot of times you'll have uh, people that are older or people that are incapacitated and just need somebody to help them. So they allow one of their children to live in the house. But a psycho like this should have been the hell out of there. Hell, I'll take my chances. Seriously. I can't go to sleep and wonder if this guy going to put a knife in me or not. Now, he did not say the cause of death. Like, you know, whether she was shot or stabbed or whatever. But what's still chilling to me in this thing is he tried to burn her body up. You poured an accelerant on your own mom and watched her skin burn off. Didn't think about nothing. About her birthing you, the good times you had, the respect you had for her. None of that. Your own personal gain. Live your life on your terms in her fucking house. Unacceptable. Get him the fuck out of here. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is truly, truly heartbreaking. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh yeah, I forgot to add two things. First thing is this. She was telling the neighbors and stuff that... He was doing crazy stuff. I wonder if she made efforts to get him out of the house. And maybe that was spurring her to lose her life. Because remember, in the video I did yesterday about this, he said in 2009, he was accused of stalking, vandalism, and intimidation. All three of these was with his mom. So stalking his mom, was he thrown out the house and he kept coming back to the house? trying to get back in there and intimidation, he forced himself back in the house. Something's going on. And like, I think a lot of this story's not told. I'm just being honest, even though it's unfortunate it is. Another thing is he give off the vibe like he was the only child. And that's why he was in that house. Now, I don't know if he had siblings or not because ain't nobody came forward his family members and said, hey, yeah, this and that. Cause you know, the news be finding these people. Nobody came out and spoke how the tragedy affected them that was like a sibling or a family member that now it might come out later on but it seems like he got he got there he's in jail and that's it either way man you got to be careful about keeping people in your house that are not in the right mind and are not getting help maybe he had medication he wasn't taking he refused it that was another thing either way man this is just ugh, i'm done with it thanks for listening